Welcome back everyone to another Polygon Matic video. We have a recent article I want to go over talking about why developers are choosing Polygon as their scaling solution of choice, a few other updates, and then we will be covering the current price action of Matic. So if you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I post daily information around the Polygon ecosystem at NARB Trading. Gently tap on that like button and let's get right into it. So a tweet earlier today from the Polygon Twitter, developers love building on Polygon. From 30 dApps to 3,000 in just a year, see why the Web3 revolution is happening on Polygon. So first of all, 30 to 3,000 in one year is some incredible adoption. And here in this blog post, why Web3 developers are choosing Polygon over other solutions. When it comes to developing on Ethereum, there is only one place that lets developers easily migrate their projects, offers a broad range of scaling options, and has some of the industry's lowest transaction rates. These are just some of the reasons why the number of teams using Polygon jumped to 100-fold in the past year. The number of decentralized applications building on Polygon reached 3,000 as of October, from 30 same time last year, according to Alchemy, a developer platform that tracks the teams building on a number of blockchains. In the increasingly crowded space of Layer 2 competitors, Polygon emerged as the go-to scaling solution that's enabling Ethereum to become the most definitive, fundamental settlement layer of the growing Web3 ecosystem. One reason Polygon is the destination for so many projects is its complete compatibility with the Ethereum virtual machine. This allows Polygon to tap into the established community of developers who can easily migrate their work to and from the Ether network leveraging their existing tools. So being EVM compatible is of course very important for developers to be able to easily migrate to Polygon, and this is why we see so many dApps that are currently on Ethereum migrating to Polygon. Because yes, they do get those cheap and fast transactions, but also because it's very easy to make that move to Polygon as well. Moving on now, Polygon also offers not one, not two, but an entire suite of solutions that provide users with an extremely high degree of real-time operational flexibility and scalability. At the same time, its highly developed messaging protocol makes cross-chain communication extremely streamlined and hassle-free for users. So what does Polygon have that really no other scaling projects have? Multiple different solutions which makes Polygon as a whole very flexible and is able to provide the certain needs of each individual dApp, which developers really love. Then there is the plain economic sense. The past year saw the cost of transactions on Ethereum skyrocket, with the average fee rising as high as $200 in early September. Even after the deployment of the recent London hard fork aimed at stabilizing rates, high gas fees have continued to persist. Polygon users pay just a fraction of what it costs to transact on Ethereum. So low fees, of course, making sure users are not getting priced out of using things inside of the Ethereum ecosystem is the reason Layer 2s are here in the first place. But since inception in 2017, Polygon has morphed from a simple Layer 2 Ethereum scaling solution to a thriving ecosystem of popular Web3 projects, making it a sustainable base of operations. Polygon solutions range from Polygon SDK, which provides a framework enabling developers to build Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks, to Polygon Hermes, a decentralized zero-knowledge rollup that inherits its security from Ethereum Layer 1. Polygon also is building some other exciting solutions like a privacy-centric rollup with EY, Polygon Nightfall, and a general-purpose data availability layer, Polygon Avail. Polygon hosts some of the biggest Web3 platforms and developers in the industry, from DeFi protocols such as lending platform Aave to luxury brands company Dolce & Cabana and even NFT marketplaces including OpenSea and Mark Cuban's Lazy.com. Some of the dApps that have already integrated Polygon are Sushi, Avegachi, and Arc8. So this touches on another reason why you might now look at Polygon and want to launch on it, is you see these major platforms using it already. And having these large platforms integrating onto Polygon is obviously just generally a good look. And you're probably going to gravitate towards something like Polygon because it now has the adoption from these bigger names. 
But then this blog post goes on to talk about the underlying technology and the different types of scaling solutions that Polygon offers. And we discuss this a lot here on the channel and I'm sure most of you know about these solutions already. But if you do want to read up on this further, I will leave this link down below in the description for you all. But Polygon seeing an incredible amount of dApps being built here and this article was a great insight on all the reasons why developers are choosing Polygon. And we're seeing this growth continue each and every day. Truly so many reasons to be bullish on this ecosystem. So wanted to go over that post, lots of great information. But moving on now, there is something that I want to touch on today as a few of you have been asking about it and I saw some tweets about it as well. So it looks like the past two days or so, there have been transactions of 20 million and 10 million Matic tokens sent to a Binance wallet. So I did look into this and I did see on the official Polygon Telegram that they put an announcement saying, we will be moving 30 million Matic tokens from the Foundation wallet for delegation to validators. And then they did also post the Etherscan link as well. So this is something that the Polygon team isn't hiding obviously or anything like that. I understand there's a lot of money here and people don't like all of that supply being put onto an exchange because it could signify a lot of selling pressure. But really other than that, unfortunately, I don't have any other information. I know really just as much as you guys. But this is also really the cool part of the blockchain, right? Which is transparency. Everyone can see all this money being moved around. But like I said, they did announce it as a delegation to validators, and this is all the information that I really have on that. But I did want to quickly touch on this because there were a few people asking about it. But those were the updates that I wanted to touch on for today. Let's now go ahead and move on over to the Matic price and chart. So Matic today is at $1.75. There was a bit of a market dump yesterday as Bitcoin fell to the low 60,000s and ETH to 4,500. But these are actually the same prices that we were at just last week. So nothing to lose your mind about here. But here on the Matic chart, I want to start with looking at the weekly time frame. And it looks like Matic did briefly fall a decent amount and almost touched this upper trend line. But this is exactly why I always say to keep that long term mindset. Because yes, yesterday may have felt like the greatest market dump and everything was going straight down, but when you actually zoom out and look at the macro weekly chart, this recent drop was really not that significant. When you look at it from this view, it looks like a simple pullback, just like we've been seeing all the way up. And each pullback has been getting smaller and smaller. And each time it has pulled back, it's made a higher low, meaning the most recent low is higher than the last. So again, zoom out, no need to panic. There's still a lot of support here around this area. If you're only looking at the day-to-day -day price action, you're going to drive yourself crazy. And as you can see, the macro trend is still very clearly up. So the Matic price, of course, pulling back a little bit. Again, I really don't see anything to worry about. Still around $1.70. And that is all that I have to say in terms of price action for today. I thank you all very much for watching another Polygon Matic video. Make sure that you are subscribed so you're never missing out. Leave a like. It really helps me out. I will see you all next time.